Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn another new command that is nothing but git reset. So now the term reset itself stands for undoing changes. So now you will be able to see the command name that it is have as a reset. Reset means nothing but we are resetting the data. That means we are undoing the changes. The term, the name itself indicates that one. So commonly what we can say is in our git world, so reset is often considered as a referred as a confusing command. Why? Because so it has a little bit of confusing. But if you if you know the concept, it is a very easy command only. So reset does different things in different contexts. So we have two different uh, some different types of things. So in different contexts, if you use the reset, it will do the different things. We will see that one. So how the reset will be used in different ways, we will try to see. So that's why what will what what the people will be saying is the git reset is considered as something like complex command so they will be thinking something like reset if he doesn't know the concept behind the reset so we can uh, they will be saying that it is a something like complex command they will be saying okay but it's a reset is a very easy command only so now let's try to analyze this reset the command so now for example you up to know what we have learned about the git uh, commands and all those things you know that if you want to move the branch from one place to another branch another place so that means for example, you have a branch master branch and if you want to move that master branch, what is the commands you will be using generally? The following commands, these are the following commands it will be used to move the branch that is git commit. When you commit a new, when a new commit is committed, then the, uh, the branch which you are committing in that branch, the branch will move forward to that commit and also git merge. When you do the merge thing, so the pointer, the branch will move to the merge commit. And sometimes a rebase also. Rebase also moves the pointer. That is nothing but the branch. So these three commands, what it will do? It will move the branch. Okay. So apart from these three commands, so if you if you keenly observe these three commands, so it will not move the branch actually. So if you if you if you kindly observe, if you observe these commands are not used for moving the branch. These commands these commands we are not explicitly are using for not moving the branch. We are these are used. For creating a commit, okay, for creating a commit, we are using this git merge, git rebase or git commit and all those things. Apart from creating a commit, the branch is moved as a side effect, okay. The, these are the branches, the pointer has been moved as a side effect for creating a new commit. So, for creating a new commit, the branch has been moved. So, you need to remember this one. So, that means, do we have, so that means we don't have a command, we don't have a command for explicitly moving the branch. So if you commit, the commit will be created apart from that as a side effect, the branch also will be moved. If you merge means another branch will be merged into the into our branch and, and the pointer will be moved to the latest merge commit. So for these scenarios, the branch is moving. So we are not using explicitly the merge command or commit or rebase for moving the branch, right? So now you get a question that is there any ex specific command for the one to especially move the branch only or head. Head means we already know that. Re we are moving that one git checkout so something like that head is also moved okay detached head it will become a detached head. but but for moving the branch so do we have anything so now so reset does this one so now you need to understand that reset does so reset it is used only to move the branch you need to understand this only so reset is used to move the branch from one commit to the another commit previously we have used the head for in the previous video we have seen for moving the head from one commit to another commit, we have used the git checkout for moving that one head. So now for moving the branch itself. So if the branch is moved means if the if the head is there, if the branch means automatically the head is also will be moved. So for moving the branch, we will be using the reset command. You need to understand this thing. So now while while considering these all things, so go apart from these all things, read, uh, reset has some options. Okay, optional options. Okay, we can say it's an optional thing. First one is the hyphen hyphen hard. What is this hyphen hyphen hard? So if you use git, git reset hyphen hyphen hard means, so now whatever the files, whatever the we are moving to a specific com commit means, whatever the files present in that working area, okay, present in that repository area, those all changes will be moved into the working area and the staging area, okay. We already know that we are, we are be having through st three, three areas. That is working area, staging area and the repository area. So whatever the files present in the repository, it will be moved to both working area and also the staging area. So now if you understand hyphen hyphen mix, this is the default option. Okay. 
you need to understand that this is the default so you don't, you don't need to mention this mixed thing automatically git reset if you are doing miss it is a default option so now it moves the files that are present in the repository area only to the stage area okay so it doesn't move to the working area hyphen hyphen soft means doesn't move any files so the repository area the files will be there like that only and the working area and the staging area it will not move the files to the working area staging area so these are the things you will be able you need to remember hyphen hyphen hard moves the files both to working and staging mixed means it will move only to the staging area and soft means it will it will not move the files okay so this is the git reset thing so now what we'll try to do is we will try to see the overview so how the reset will be working so in the visualizing it later on, later onwards we can see the what we can say we can see the practical implementation in the git so now by this learning what you can say so simply reset moves the current branch okay so reset moves the current branch from one commit to another commit so how we have moved the head from one commit to another commit so if we move like that means it becomes a detached head right in the same scenario if you move the branch from one br one commit to another commit so you will be using the reset and optionally and you can use those options to copy the data from the repository area to the working area or the staging area and you can optionally use these values to move the data from repository area to the working area staging area you need to remember this thing okay so now let's try to see the visualization of the git so now if i open this visualizing git here so now here you will be able to see that the master he is the master the master is referencing to this commit and also head is there also in this commit now what i will try to do here i will try to do some commit okay so now i have did the commit okay so now master has moved and also the head also has been moved to the latest commit so i am doing the another commit okay so now we have did the two commits we have applied the two commits so where we have applied so one commit we have applied here and another commit we have applied here so now i found that i i cannot move this master branch to the back side right so i cannot move this branch to the back side i, I if i want i can move this head to the here so how can i move so i can take this one and i can use git checkout like this so now the head has been moved now i want to move the master so how can i move the master so now let's try to understand so now let's try to move the head also so that head and master is the same place now i want to move the master so that head also automatically moves so now how can i move is so here i need to use the git reset so to which commit i need to move so to this commit i need to move so you can just copy and you can paste it here okay so now i am pasting it here see automatically the master has the the master has been moved to the previous commit whatever the commit i have mentioned it has moved so now you need to remember so here also it is telling that assuming the hard so uh, as this one is there for demo purpose so it is assuming the hard but default one is the mixed thing so we'll see it in the practical implementation so you need to understand so now you have you have understood right the git reset is used to move the branch from one commit to the another commit so if you want to have the commit if you want to move the branch to uh, to the specific commit means we can use it git reset you need to remember this one so now in the practical world so now you have a doubt that okay fine i understood that head if you want to move the head means i have you can use the git checkout if i want to move the branch means i can use the reset thing so what is the practical use of this one so in the practical places where i can use this git reset okay so you, you may be having a doubt this one so where you will be using this reset thing means if you want to uh, undo the feature or something like that so if you want to undo your feature we will be using this git reset i will show you in the next video where in the practical usage we will be using this one so hope you understood about this git reset thing so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you